going on, folks? Mark Knott from uh, Solar Solutions here, trying to keep you guys updated with all the equipment that we're installing for today. So we have the 600 amp transfer switch uh, or switch gear system, uh, single phase 240 platform. We have taken the house off grid completely, so this switch, as you can see right here, is in off position. Rewired and engineered, coming down into this electrical box, uh, going into this uh, main uh, PVC box, 12 by 12. Um, we're using uh, number number one pot uh, standard wire. Uh, of course, the PV from the array sitting out in the field. We'll show that in just a second. It's coming in from the uh, from the ground aspect, and then of course going in through this uh, main disconnect. I'm going to go ahead and show you what's going on on the other side over here, on the inside that is. Still just roll on? I am now. As you can see here, we have a bunch of uh, uh, different varieties of equipment uh, and operations here. So to kind of start off this madness, we have a 200 amp transfer switch. This is by Generac here. We are transferring all the main AC lines coming from the off grid into here. And then this main handle right here is the transfer to go back to grid uh, in case the system has a problem or I need to go ahead and repair something. So this is the other PVC box that's on the other side with a direct line coming in from point to point. It makes it really easy with this shipping container here to uh, manipulate that huge wire with a huge box. So. Uh, again, AC power outputs being supplied for secondary line for, uh, for backup power for the grid. And then we have here, the uh, customer's going to go ahead and play doomsday games. So here we have 150 amp double pump breaker. That's running the AC output. This basically is just running that meter back as much as possible. They aren't paying him well enough for the credits, so he wanted to go completely all off grid at this point. He is playing doom, doomsday games, like I said before. So these two switches are for L1, L2, 240 volts. It is in the off position. What that means is for these off-grid inverters, we're not going to be pulling in from grid to help charge our batteries. We are going to go completely just off the solar and the battery itself. So if you can come in and zoom in off of one of these EG4s, the uh, 12,000 XP series, on the screen here, we're charging the batteries roughly about 1,400 watts. It's about 11 o'clock in the morning. Um, we are at roughly about 77% in climbing, which is great. We only used about 25% throughout the night. Um, and we are power output on single phase L1, L2, 240 volts. So these are synchronizing together. If one were to fail, he still is producing at least 12,000 watts on demand. These are being combined into this main uh, switch, which is individually driven by 250 amp double pole. So they're on their own individual circuits, synchronized together going to the transfer switch. Uh, over here we have a 200 amp uh, disconnect. Basically each inverter has a 200 amp service line coming in. Um, don't want to pull off the panel because of operation and things of that nature, but we do have a 200 amp service sitting over here on this side with a 50 amp double pole for the AC output on over here. So, all right, we'll go ahead and show you what's going on in the back here. Come on down. So we gotta go through these double doors here, of course. This is a uh, clean room. I'm going to turn on this light. Canning foods, preparation, steaks, meats, all kinds of stuff that they uh, they butcher here on the, uh, the property are uh, supplied into the back here. So over here, if you want to stay right there, that's probably a good picture. Uh, we have the EG4 platform. This is the uh, 30 kW uh, battery boxes from Signature Solar. We have three of these. So technically this is a 90 kW platform. The customer is an interesting one, just like they all are. He wanted a 100 kW or he wasn't gonna do the deal. So I had to figure out an engineer, an extra 10 kW to go into these cabinets. So what we did was we used 200 amp hour golf cart batteries that are sitting here. They're the same voltage, same platform, same everything. It's just the BMS is a little bit more ballsier because it's for a golf cart instead of for home applications. What that means is 200 amp output compared to uh, Signature Solar's 48 volt, 100 amp output. But with this combined application, we're able to store and do a peak power output for 32 seconds, not per clue. So he is in a uh, charge mode, as you can tell, this one blinking light, I don't know if you can get a video of a picture, but anyway, so he's in the charge mode of 75 to 100 percent. We have an BMS app that is allowing us to go ahead and operate um, uh, efficiently to, to monitor the batteries individually instead of um, uh, in a pack. So how this works is we have inverter one and inverter two sitting on these three batteries there. 
The center battery is more like a storage battery for these batteries, if that makes sense. So he doesn't have one of the EG4 uh, um, batteries sitting in here, but the customer just wanted a 100 kW. So 30, 30, 30, that equals 90, plus a 5 kW and a 5 kW equals up to that 100 kW that the customer was asking for. So, anyway, uh, we have heavy gauge wire that's going up through this transfer or up into this box here, of course, going through. Uh, this is a clean room, like I said, air conditioning, things like that. This is now all off grid. Um, I think we're about wrapped up. Oh, maybe a picture of. So, if you have any other questions or uh, comments, go ahead and post it online. Uh, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. But the last part of the video I wanted to show you guys was this uh, 30 kW solar rack that we put in in 2016. Uh, it's, it's housing 100 solar panels or 99, sorry, uh, at 300 watts apiece, making 30 kW. Um, doing maintenance and things of that nature, make sure all the wiring is done. So, uh, other than that, uh, God bless and love you all. Thank you.